We have gone just a little crazy signing some new players. We'll say hi to them after the intro. Roll the intro. Let's say hi to some new players, and then we'll have uh, some highlights and a match today. Let's get to it. Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 21. This is Play the Kids, and it's episode 8. So let's get you caught up to speed here real quick. By the way, if you like what I'm doing here, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager content. And uh, I do appreciate that so very much. Taking a look at our run since pool, we beat Fromm in a friendly. We won't go through those. Infield Town, 4-2, to two, uh, Graham Williams with a brace, Quentin Hemmings with another set piece, and Bliss Cotterell with a stoppage time goal to put the icing on the cake. Welling, we beat 4-0, Graham Williams with a brace, Tim Cook with a goal, and Bliss Cotterell with a late goal again. And uh, then Farnborough, uh, a brace from Graham Williams. A couple of interesting things. Uh, we had this 3-2 loss, uh, and uh, in this one, Tim Cook was hurt, and he is going to be out for quite a while. Uh, torn thigh muscle, so that's not good. And then against Farnborough, uh, we brought in Rico Etherington for his debut, and he was sent off in the 17th minute. <laughs> so he had his parents in the stands and everything. They made the trip. They were one of the. They were two of the thirteen people that made the trip for the for us, and uh, saw their son sent off uh, early, early days, and uh, so that's interesting. Uh, let's jump into the transfer window. We brought in one player uh, effective immediately, and that's Darren Johnson from Lemington. He came in on a free. He can play left back, left mid, and central mid. Uh, Two-star current, five-star potential, and you can, you know, he does need to train up a little bit, but he's only 21 years old, so he has already started two matches, playing a decent 6.75. Uh, so yeah, so he's he's a uh, new to the club, uh, very low determination. Sean, I'm sorry. Uh, Sean said don't look at anybody with less than a 12, but he actually has good passing, so and you know some good physicals. So, and I like his crossing as well. So, <laughs> the fact that he could play a couple of positions for us and had really good leadership uh, kind of got me to sign him. He does have a good upside as well. On the flip side of that, Slam Dunk, we have signed him to a contract. Uh, so, he will be joining us. Uh, five star potential and, of course, five starts playing a seven rating. This season, uh, Carnell Bissix is signed with us. Two-star current, five-star potential. Uh, does need to get a little bit better, but we are going to start playing these guys a lot more. John Rawlings had not played much for us. One-star current, five-star potential. But uh, we will start playing him on the right wing uh, opposite of Grant Wilkins. Uh, Hemmings has signed with us permanently, uh, effective end of the season. And Christian Simmons has also signed with us. For, so all of our loan players will be, uh, be joining us permanently uh, at season's end. We also have a couple of other. Uh, we've got an offer on Sloan. I would love to get rid of him, but I, I'm not going to re-sign him. But I'm limited in my right and left backs right now. So I am scouting a few players, and uh, we'll see if we can sign somebody. And then we will let him go if if we can get them in. Uh, Macaulay Robertson is a right back. Uh, Lewis Taylor and Dave Hugill are left backs that we're looking at, 22 and 23. And again, that fits in with bringing in young players. These guys are looking to slot into the first team. Uh, and then as we progress, we'll get more interested in Eight, you know, 16, 18, 19 year olds that we can then groom in our farm system, in our academy, which is right now non existent. 
Uh, but there you see uh, Bissick, Simmons, Rawlings, uh, Slam Dunk all coming in. Uh, Benjamin Ireland will join us at the end of the season. Uh, he is another left winger. We brought him in on trial. And, you know, determination is uh, not quite to that uh, Sean threshold, but he's pretty well rounded. So he excited me. And we're also looking at uh, a, a couple of strikers. Uh, we've got contract offers out to both of them, mainly because we really need uh, somebody to come in for Tim Cook. Uh, he's going to be out another three months. And that doesn't leave us with much in the striker department. Uh, Haycock, the 32-year-old, uh, Etherington, uh, who got the red card. So right now we only have the two strikers. So I believe we are going to have to switch tactics, but everything I've got is a two is, is everything I've got is a two striker setup. So uh, it's going to be hopefully we can get one of those guys in soon. Uh, taking a look at the schedule again, just to get you back up to speed and competition wise, we are top of the table by three points. Over Borum Wood, our head-to-head -head matchup was can uh, postponed due to a waterlogged pitch, but that is who we play today. So we do have highlights for that. We will come right back for those. So a lot riding on this match. We have a three-point advantage on even games. Near post, and Tierney puts it in on the set piece as we continue to take advantage of that. Williams. Plays it through to Wilkins coming in from the wing, and he drives into the box, beats the keeper, and that made it 2-0 in the 46th minute. And that is where we would be prior to Murphy going jelly hands in the 80th minute, letting Borumwood get back into it. You can see they dominated us 11-4 on shots, uh, but uh, they didn't have they only had four on target. So we got a little lucky here. Uh, but it's a huge win as now we sport a, a six-point advantage on even footing at 28 games apiece. And we will be back for H&R in four days. So we have gone ahead and accepted the transfer offer for James Sloan for no money, just to let him go. Uh, he's currently in negotiations. Uh, just catching you up. So Macaulay Robertson uh, will be joining us at the end of the season. Uh, Hemmings and uh, Dave Hugill all coming in, in at end of season. Now, Hemmings is already here on loan. Uh, Lewis Taylor, we've got an offer out on him, and uh, he would join us immediately if he accepts it. All of these guys, uh, you've seen uh, four of the five are on loan, and they're all joining permanently at the end of the season. We did sign one other player, Rui Martins from Weston on a free. He is a striker with 11 finishing, pretty high determination. So we have signed him. One and a half star current, five star potential, 20 year old Portuguese. So that is good. Oh, and we also signed. Did I miss that? Did I miss that? I must have missed it. Oh, Robin Mudge from Salisbury. He does come in on a free as well, three star current. Four and a half star potential. So we have now gone, if we look at our team report, uh, so now we have Williams and Cook, then Mudge and Etherington in there as well. Uh, Haycock, I think I will let go. Well, I'm definitely going to let him go end of the season. But boy, we've got a lot of. Oh, hold on. This is. We don't want to hide anybody, right? There you go. And one star. All right, so that looks a little bit better. <laughs> All right, so we do have some, you know, some of these guys are decent. Uh, Johnson is slotted in, but Bissix and Simmons were trying to play as much as we can. And both of them have very high determination. Uh, Slam Dunk is in that mix too, but I think he's definitely going to be a reserve for us. So uh, Hugh Gill, if we uh, get him... Uh, he'll join us at the end of the season, so he doesn't count yet. Uh, Sloan is gone. We definitely need that other guy in. Uh, well, Bone is starting out there on the left, and then, uh, you know, we have Bayer to come in if we need him. 
But right now, he's off the bench. But let's get into our team selection for today. We're going to go with Murphy in goal, a back four of Bone, Hemmings, Tierney, and Sloan. Mainly because I don't... Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's bring Bea in. Uh, Rawlings and Wilkins on the wings. Johnson and Simmons in the central mid. Mudge getting his debut. And Williams up top. Uh, pressing forward. Let's make him a poacher on attack. And Williams... Yeah, we're going to keep him as an advanced forward. Uh, taking a look at just stat-wise, look at the goals, man. 34 and 32 for Williams. He has been on fire. Uh, Bliss Cotterell has, you know, we've kind of kind of put him to the side here to try to get some of these other guys in. We'll see how that works out. Simmons needs some match sharpness. But, you know, we weren't playing those guys quite as much over our own players. Uh, because they were all loanees, but now that we've signed them and they are going to be our players, now we can play them in hopes that they uh, pan out and start to develop. Uh, we also, we, uh, we're on a six-match unbeaten run, which uh, is a club record, so that's good. All headed down, there's Mudge, first touch of the ball, and he loses it. <laughs> that's a great appearance. There you go. Good header by Bay up to Williams. There's Rawlings, one of our new signings. Over to Wilkins. And Wilkins takes a crack, and it just goes wide of the mark. That sets up a goal kick. Let's do the encouragement shout. All right, I was trying to get this to reset. Um, I had redone my camera and screen resolution and stuff uh, for another recording, and so I had to get this back dialed in. So, uh, yeah, and you, you may have just seen we only had the top three. So now we've got the whole look. There we go. All right, Johnson out to Wilkins. Some one touch. Simmons into Rawlings. There's a crack off the woodwork. It's cleared away. Bea controls it and gets it back, but nothing comes of that. Seven shots here in the early going. Only two on target. So let's demand a little more. Mudge is playing a 6-7. Tierney's picked up a yellow card for us. Let's demand more again. And nothing really comes. We didn't have any highlights after those couple. We're up to nine shots. Um, I'm going to pump fist. Mm, I'm not happy with your performance. All right, Simmons is demotivated. And we are going to go with an encouragement this time to try to fire him up a little bit. Uh, you know what? I'm going to watch Johnson here, but he's struggling a little bit. Oh, and Tierney just lets it go by. And Murphy with a huge save. Pulls up 3-0 on Bella Ricky. Wow. And we go back, they go back post. We get the clearance. Mudge is just standing out there. Yep, let's go ahead and pull him off. He's not looking good. Uh, Darren Johnson, let's bring on Bissix just to see if we can get something better going on out there. Uh, demand more. All right, we've got another subage Rawlings. Or let's bring on Bliss Cotterell. I like Lee White too, but... We need uh, we need to see about you know I'm, I want to try this thing that Sean had told me about to try to play him in the matches. Uh, do I want to pull Wilkins off? I think so. Let's go ahead and put Lee White out there and let's uh, demand more. Come on, boys! Fourteen shots, but just nothing has really transpired this game. Ugh. So not happy with that. You know, we, we probably should have put one in. We had that one good chance. Williams played a 6-3. That could have been better. I'm going to point the finger. Not good enough. And we move on. Let's go ahead and finish out the day so we can get a good picture of where we're at. And there is no real transfer window at this level. I guess I've learned that again. Mudge makes his debut. Uh, let's see. So schedule-wise... So, you know, we're, we're playing well. 
you know, these two losses are friendly, so we haven't lost a league match since Boxing Day. So that's good. And we are four points up on Concord. Borum Woods has fallen seven points back as now we have new challengers. So I've already added in some friendlies for February and early March. Let's get another good run of form here uh, through another good run of matches. I mean, we aren't playing anybody really high except for East Thurrock. We must have, oh God, there's a big run in right there. Um, I tell you what, why don't we, yeah, because I think I'd like to play this. I'd like to have these two games on video. So let's go ahead and do a run through the end of March. I mean, we're in February already, so it's, it's, it's a lot of games, but keep in mind, three of those are friendly matches, but it is a good run of games. But we'll come back for Concord and Eastley in the next match. I wonder why Slam Dunk is ineligible. Oh, he's on loan from Eastley. Huh. Okay. So, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe to stay up to date. Daily content with Football Manager here on the channel. And we will see you guys next episode. Thanks so much. Bye.